Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of the Stanley Parable. Now, I want to tell you guys something before I start playing this game. The first episode, I saw a lot of people talking in the comments that, you know, they didn't like it that I was talking over the narrator. They didn't like some of the things that I was doing in the game because I'm not really used to games that play itself that have a narrator like this. I mean, this is a unique game. The Beginner's Guide, I did play that game. I didn't really know what to expect from that game. And this is a game that came out before that one, if that made any sense just now. It's 6 in the morning right now and I'm playing this game. And I'm playing it at this point in time right now because I take pride in what I do. You know, I always want to grow as a YouTuber, as an entertainer, as someone who plays video games and shares my experiences with you guys. And the fact that a lot of you guys were saying, you know, Jay doesn't respect this game or, you know, Jay is just trying to breeze through the game instead of actually, like, enjoy himself and, like, immerse himself in this game. And I decided that, you know, I was going to wake up. Like, I was about to go to sleep right now. It's 6 in the morning. And I was reading comments at, like, 4 in the morning and I was just, like, scrolling through. And, and I, I just, I felt bad because, you know, good YouTubers, people who play video games, they know how to adapt to certain video games. Scary games, they can, you know, be ready to, you know, jump and be ready to get scared. Funny games, you know, crack jokes like I do, fast paced, stuff like that. And with games like this, I don't know how to react because there's not that many games like that. So I'm going to try my best not to talk over the narrator. Stanley I'm going to let him do his thing. a long time in one spot. It's part of a game. He likes to see how long he can go without dying. So far, he's doing excellent. And if he just stays right where he is, I'm sure he'll keep up that good momentum. Let's observe the genius at work. Okay. Well, yeah, see, I did a pretty good job there. So you guys give me a pat on the back. I didn't talk over the narrator that time. So apparently, whatever you do, the narrator reacts to it. But I just want to tell you guys that I take a lot of pride in what I do. I'm going to try to adapt to this game. I'm still going to be me. You know, I'm still going to be the same old Jay. I just am going to try my best to be patient and work with this game as best as I can. So I'm doing this for you guys, but I also want to enjoy this game myself. So let's go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Okay. So, I'm actually gonna follow the rules what this guy is telling me right now. Like, he wants me to go to the meeting room right now. So, that is where I'm going to go. Even though I want to check some things out. And I saw in the comments, a lot of you guys were saying, you know that broom closet that I went inside, the one that Chris was in? I should stay in there and there's gonna be an ending. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Alrighty then, we are going to go into the left door. And can you actually go in these doors right here? Or is this all just for show? I don't know. I'm gonna just try click on everything. There might be like some cool Easter eggs. And I remember that bright ass light. Yet Whoa. there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, and a big reason why I'm playing this game at 6 in the morning right now is because usually during the day when I record, I hype myself up. You know, I try to get energetic, ready to crack some jokes. But right now, I'm more just chill. I'm more mellow. I, like, like I said, I was about to go to sleep. And, you know, I feel more relaxed. So I can enjoy something like this right now. Everyone is unique. You, most of all. Thank you for the wise words. And this broom closet. So there is apparently an ending here if I stay inside of this broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. That's not true. There's a lot of things here. There's this bucket thing that janitors use. Nice broom. There was uh, nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. It's not empty. There's a bunch of things here, like it's a big ass wrench. Can I? Oh, I could kneel down. I could look at the wrench. I it could admire the wrench. That Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. FA. What does FA mean? Let me click on something so I can interact with it. So he'll shut his ass are up. You, are you really still in the broom closet, standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I don't know. Everybody told me to stay in here. Supposedly there's an ending. That's why I'm here. 
At least I'm honest, you right? You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me, because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Well, now that you keep talking about it, apparently there's something Maybe here. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. It was funny in the comments too. There's people saying the broom closet ending was Stanley my favorite. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Wow. I'm I'm addicted to drugs and porn, not hookers. Well, I've Get come to straight. a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here, when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. No, I'm not. I'm gonna stay in here for as long as I can until he stops talking for sure. Okay, he actually hasn't said anything for about 30 seconds now, so I think that was the end of his narration. I am going to get out of the broom closet now. Ah, second player, it's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Yep, sure. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, we are going to go up the stairs because we are going to be a good person. First episode, I was a rebel. Second episode, I'm just Stanley. Stanley the manly. Executive bathroom. Ooh, can I take an executive shit in here? No, I cannot. Let me just click on everything. Click on these... Why does this sound like I'm typing on a keyboard when I'm pressing on these chairs? Did I say that? What the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. Oh. Yeah, doors closing by themselves. Click on this. Nope. Okay. I just like clicking on stuff. I'm the type of person who plays games, and if it's like this, where I explore, just click on random shit. You never know. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two oh, yeah? eight four five. Two eight four five. But of course, two eight four five couldn't possibly have known this. Bingo, motherfucker! Yes, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley oh, happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Oh. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Okay, maybe there's something in here that I missed. I don't know. That just seems all too convenient. Can't press anything anymore? Nope. What about here? Whoa, that's actually kind of creepy. Looks like a ghost face. Okay. Nope. There's nothing. Alright, some books. You know, like in those movies, one of the books, you, like, you can pull them out. Pull out game strong or nah? Maybe I can't pull out any books here. Can I play the piano? Maybe like a secret melody? Nope. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to go through here. Alright, wish me luck, guys. 
Well, this is kind of creepy. What the fuck? Oh, shit! Scared me. I haven't slept yet. I'm on edge. <laughs> and it's loading? Way to take me out of the immersion of the game. Damn loading screen. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. All right. Well, I guess we're about to answer these questions that Stanley nobody has been asking. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Well, there's something that says escape right here. Should I go to the Mind Control Facility or escape? You know, fuck it, YOLO, guys. I'm escaping. I'm sorry. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh, fuck. Okay. Should I go back? You know what? We already went here. We might as well. We might as well. Oh. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Well, I kind of just want to go. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Oh, shit. When you see red... That means your ass is dead. Oh, wait. Hold on. What the? T guys, what should I do, guys? Should I go down? YOLO! I don't know what I did. <laughs> if I died, then fuck it. But we're at a loading screen, so I think we're okay. Whoa. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, oh, fuck. he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't oh, no, know no, no, the real no. story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. I made a big so mistake. He resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Oh, shit. Tell my mama lover. Oh, shit. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Whoa! Okay, we're good. Nice. The Stanley Parable. I can't, I can't even see anything. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Whoa. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? This blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path that Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have added and altered throughout development through the core layout remains almost identical to the first. Okay. Oh, so this is the layout of the game. That's cool. So that's my office. I remember I started off there. Then I went here. Yeah, cool. Oh, there's actually some paintings behind here too. Nature paintings. Yeah, these were all the ones that were all over the office. I didn't understand why they were there. I still don't. I mean, who wants a picture of like a close-up of a leaf with water dripping from it? I mean, I know it looks cool, but nobody wants that shit. Nobody wants that. Okay, the office. Love the office. My favorite comedy show. Michael Scott. Michael Scott, are you in here? Do I shoot? Bun sounds. Okay, thank you. And these are the credits for the people who worked on the game? Wow. I remember Davey. He was from the Beginner's Guide. Davey. 
Still don't know if the beginner's guide is true or that was also fiction also. Oh, the maintenance room, an early version of the maintenance room. All right, that looks like something you'd see in the movie Saw. It's kind of weird. Photocopier or a copier machine. What's this? Some cool artwork. I could see that hanging up in somebody's room like in New York or some shit. These are the screenshots of the Stanley Parable HD Remix. More endings, viewer, blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay. From Sergei Medvedkov. Subject, asking the narrator. What? Hey, I wasn't done reading that. From James, subject, love the game, greetings. I want to tell you I like the Stanley Parable as much as I like seeing a humorously small badger in swim trunks. Okay, you know what? If it's not going to let me read it, then fuck you! The Lounge. An early version of The Lounge. Nice. Looks like the finished version of the lounge, too. The cargo lift? Oh. Okay, I don't remember all of this. Oh, what the... The apartment timer. Oh, is this the one where you have to answer the phone? Yeah. What happens if it gets to zero? In previous version of the choice leading to the apartment ending, a timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. Oh... Okay, I uh, also read in the comments, and yes, as you guys may know by now, I do read a lot of the comments. Uh, when you guys said I can unplug the phone, and I answered it, you know, the one that led me to my mannequin wife. I think I'm going to go back and do that again in another episode. But right now, I'm just going to go through here. This is actually really cool. It's like taking you through a mini museum of how the game was created. I like that. I like that a lot. Monitor room elevator. Uh, what was that? I guess this hasn't happened to me yet because I don't remember any of these things. But let me go down here. Because this is where I was, right? Yeah, what the hell is that down there? Here we go. This is where I don't remember. Narration outtakes. Really? Are you kidding me? These are the outtakes? How do I listen to it? I can barely hear it. I saw an exit up here somewhere. Let's go over there. Freedom ending? This was the very first incarnation of the freedom ending in the game's alpha. Huh. I haven't gotten that yet. I feel like I've seen all the endings that I haven't even gotten yet. This should be fun. Because then I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember seeing that in that crazy room. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Okay. If I turn this off, do I turn the game off? You know what? I'm going to do it. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Oh. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You oh, can stop shit. the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose oh, it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time choose. I felt that for some reason. I felt like that like actually squished my head. <sighs> Just thinking about that in real life gives me the shivers, give me the heebie-jeebies. But I think that's the ending that I got because it's been sitting at a black screen for about 30 seconds. Either that or my game just fucked out on me. <laughs> but yeah, that was another episode of the Stanley Parable. I wanted to make this, you know, to show you guys that I can adapt to certain games, certain situations. This is a very unique game, just like the Beginner's Guide. It was created by the same people that made this game. And, you know, I want to play through this game. I want to respect the games that I play. And I want you guys to enjoy the ride that I go on whenever I play games because I don't just play games just to play them. I actually want to enjoy the games. And I know sometimes I'm really gung-ho with a lot of things, but I promise you guys that I will be more patient with this game and I will do it justice. But I won't change the way I play or the things that I say because that's just who I am. If, if I don't act like myself, then I won't be doing myself justice. But I will be more patient with this game. That is one thing I will promise you. But that's going to do it for this episode of The Stanley Parable. If you guys want to see more, please let me know in the comments below that you want more. But if you guys 
enjoyed this video, though, please give it a like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is there, too! <laughs>